So I've been saying that I was going to save the best for last, as far as the magician's soaps go in this series. And you know, it's actually the best two for the last two bars. And it's this one. And this one. And this is the one that we're doing today. And I cannot wait to tell you all about this character, why he's amazing, and why I'm so excited to show you this bar. And I will do so in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You're at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 40 of 365 days of soap, year two, and today we are doing Elliot's bar from the magician theme that I've been working on. And Elliot is amazing. He is my one of two most favorite characters in the entire series, and it's actually very difficult to find a most favorite character in this series because the entire series is so great. But Elliot is extraordinary. He really started out as a very fun, sort of like hedonistic character that grew and changed and evolved into something beautiful. And he found himself along the way and it was, it was great. Now this bar, we are continuing on with Sierra Candles and reviewing their scents. And this particular scent is actually a blend of two, peaches and plums because Elliot and his bar have to smell like peaches and plums. And if you have seen The Magicians, you know exactly why. So anyway, let's get to the pour. We can talk more about it and him and all of the awesome things and why it's peaches and plums, you know, there. Okay, so Elliot. Now, we did the impression map challenge thing during the Amy Warden soap challenge revisit thing. And we made our own impression mats. And I did some really weird stuff with a cardigan for T-Swizzle because I love T-Swizzle. And it gave me an opportunity and excuse to wear my cardigan on camera again. So that was fun. This time I did not make my own impression mats. I actually got a big fondant mat off of the interwebs and uh, cut it down to the size of my mold. And this will go into this little piece that I'm working on here. I'm putting some mica into the mold. It will go or into the mat. It will go to the bottom of my mold. And then I will do the sides exactly the same way and then use Elmer's glue to affix them to the sides and the edges. So all of that, did that thing. Now we are using Sierra Candle's Juicy Peach as well as a plum blend that does not come from Sierra Candle. And that's the glue stick I used. I'm not putting the glue in the soap because that would be weird as shit. Although, you know, lots of weird things go into soap. Not glue, to my knowledge. But yes, so Elliot's bar is scented with peaches and plums. And anybody who knows the magicians knows exactly why. What better 
proof of concept do you need? Peaches and plums. I'm still in here. Tears. So many tears. Just thinking about that. It's, uh... Elliot is... one of my most favorite characters in the series. Actually, one and two are tied. Two of them are tied at number one. And basically everybody else, you know, they're all tied at number five. And there is no two, three, and four. Is basically how that works in my brain. And somehow that all makes sense. Sure. Now, the reason I love Elliot so much is because his character development has been, was so rich. And he really is an extraordinary actor. The actor who plays Elliot is actually very, very good. But Elliot as a character started out with this very lackadaisical, devil may care, here for a good time, um, likes to ruin things for everyone around him for either his own, you know, entertainment or just because he's always completely blitzed and doesn't really have a lot of concept. He doesn't, ha he's not really connected to, you know, the here and now and the reality. His character starts to change though. And you start to figure out why he's high as a kite all the time as well as why he has this, I'm just here for the party type of lifestyle, acting like he doesn't care. He cares very deeply. It's just not something that he's very good at expressing at all. And instead of having to express it, he numbs out. Now, his bar is going to be purple. And the reason why I'm doing the impression mats and everything for the actual design and why I'm making it purple is because I was always in love with the wardrobe. His wardrobe was always so beautiful. He had such good vests and, you know, kerchiefs. And when he became king, he had begrudgingly became king. I mean, not even, I mean, it was begrudgingly, but he became king in some sort of selfless act for his friends, which was pretty cool. And he had these beautiful like doublets and overcoats and things that he would wear. And there was this one purple one that I loved a lot. So the bar is going purple. And the impression mat is meant to, you know, sort of mimic the beautiful embroidered brocade. Uh, I use a lot of words when it comes to clothing and I don't really know that they're right because I'm not a costumer and I'm, I, I wear clothes and that's basically the extent of my knowledge when it comes to clothes. Now this bar, in addition to, you know, this little purpley swirl inside and the cool impression mat on the outside is also going to be topped just to really drive the point home with peaches and plums because peaches and plums it oh god i i honestly wish that this show was like 15 years old and so i could just talk about it and not you know try to not do spoilers because i i want everyone to watch the show and i definitely don't want to spoil any aspect of it because it's such an amazing show and if I talk too terribly much about it, uh, I will spoil some pretty big, like, WTF moments. And so, yeah, I don't really want to do that. But peaches and plums, very important. And those who know, know. And, uh, yeah, so, Elia, if we're going with, like, the D&D &D alignment thing, he is definitely chaotic neutral. He definitely actively does things completely self-serving most of the time although he has big great moments of not he's not a superhero he's definitely not into rules he actively violates any sort of idea of law and order and um but he's also not intrinsically good or evil so definitely falls in the neutral category for me I would definitely say he's chaotic 
neutral. Now, that's not to say he's not an amazing character, because he super is. Like, a chaotic character is not a bad character. A neutral character is not a bad character. It's just, he's not, he's not typecast, for sure. And the growth that he experienced throughout the entire series was just extraordinary. And again, you know, throughout his development and the way that he sort of came into his own, he ended up being just the absolute best just across the board. I loved everything about him and his character growth and, you know, just him as a person. I don't actually know if he's a very talented magician to that. I think he's much like a Josh in that he doesn't have any real big talents, but, you know, still a very cool guy and not a cool, like, just taking up space guy. He's just, he's actually very important to a lot of people's storylines and, I don't know, I love him. Let's put this in the oven and then we can uh, cut it. Okay, and on to the cut. Now, this is another one that I came in. I had actually made three or four magician's bars in the same day, and I was out having a thing, a soap and clay family day, and I just, I, I had to go to the shop and cut these bars because I was just dying. Because <laughs> look at that, that was, uh, <laughs> look how pretty that is. And I've got the peoples around. I'm like, look, look, look at the impression. Isn't it beautiful? And, you know, I'm kind of realizing at that moment, I didn't really need the impression mats on the edges because those are always my end pieces. So they're going to cut off the whole thing anyway. But that means somebody gets a really pretty patterned piece of soap in one of their bits and bobs bags, which is cool. But yeah, the whole thing, just super gorgeous. It all lined up really beautifully. It looks stunning. I love the glycerin dew on top of the peaches and the plums as well, because it almost makes them look sugared, which is cool as shit. And yeah, that's that's awesome. And yeah, no, like I'm, if you're interested in making impression matte soaps, dude, just pick up a big impression mat from the interwebs, cut them down and use glue to get them to just, you know, temporary glue, Elmer's glue, to put them in the, uh, the mold and yeah, do the damn thing. Cause that looks really cool. It's such a simple bar of soap, just has the, the little swirly swirls in all of that. And, um, the sides are just gorgeous. I, I love this. It's simple. It's classy. It's Elliot. It's, yeah, I, I love that so much. That was, oh, you know, the soap apprentice gets all super excited with her hand motions and everything. I don't ever do that, but I was swearing up a storm during this time in the best of ways. Like I swear for a lot of things, but in this one, it was, you know, it was a good swear. Like it was just, I was just so excited. Everybody come look at my bars because they were perfect for Elliot and everything that he is really. That's, oh, I love him so much. He's, he's just the best. He's, he's complicated. He's dark and broody. He's I don't, he's amazing. And his relationship with so many of the characters, as well as he actually does have his funny in his dry sense of humor kind of way, which I'm totally here for because that's my sense of humor too. When and if I ever have a sense of humor, that's totally my jam. But yeah, this is a, a beautiful bar of soap. I do not hate it. That is day 40, Elliot, Peaches and Plums. Everything about this bar made me happy. Obviously the scent, the peaches and the plums, of course, the purple had to be that too for a number of reasons. Uh, you know, plums are purple, royalty, all the jazz, yes. Uh, but also even doing the impression mat around the sides 
of the mold to give it like that beautiful brocade because he wore such beautiful clothing throughout the entirety of the series and he really came into his own when he was a king and he had these beautiful like coverlets or doublets or whatever in the hell they're called with this gorgeous stitch work and perfect and so I loved doing the, um, the impression mats around the whole bar perfect and of course the little toppers peaches and plums yes I loved pouring this bar I love looking at this bar I love smelling this bar I love talking about this bar and it's just perfect and I'm happy to have done it yes if you are interested in the Elliott bar or any of the other magician soaps you can totally get them tomorrow because tomorrow is the last day and we are doing her she's amazing I'm so excited and uh, yeah so you can get them at soapandclay.com tomorrow now if you're interested in seeing what I do for her I, I, I keep hitting it the right way I'm very excited uh, subscribe to the channel yeah, we're doing this every day, as the name 365 Days of Soap suggests. So, you know, subscribe, come back, come hang out. It'll be cool. If you are subscribed and you're hanging out, hey, thanks. You're cool. I appreciate you having joined me for another round of 365 Days of Soap. I'm out of here for today, but I'll see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of Soapy Fun. Bye.